Hello ladies, gents and starving slaves on a break from making my next phone, we are going to try out today Retrofight Spelunky. It is a reskin of the entirety of the game to make it look all neat and pixelated. But still with the Spelunky 2 engine. I have been told, hey, you should play Spelunky Classic. Now you have done HD, go back to Classic and try to beat it. Well, one, I have already done that. Two, I don't really like Spelunky Classic. I the, the controls are too floaty and weird to me. I did not enjoy my time. Like, I enjoyed it as, you know, the experience of trying out Spelunky Classic. It was a good experience. It's not so, a game that I want to go out of my way to play. This is a beautiful middle point. Ew, Rafi, ew. They did not do every single character in the game, but they did do quite a lot of them. It's still in alpha. It's not completed. I don't know if they have kept updating it or they kind of said, okay, we did enough. I'm not sure. I did not look that hard into it, but as you can tell, there's quite a few of the default characters converted to their classic pixelated way. I really like Anna. Has a very good feel to it. Now let's start with... Uh, I'm a little resentful I didn't do Margaret. Well, uh, that will definitely be my pick. Rafi uh, belongs in a pit and needs to be murdered. Lise. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. It looks like it has a toupee of some kind. I am split between Manfred and uh, Demi as our pick. Let's go Demi. Uh, she has ascended from her classic time. She uh, used to be the helpless damsel constantly being rescued and or sacrificed to a dark goddess. Uh, a little bit of a clashing here with the HD texture, but I'm sure, you know, there's there's no judgment there. There's nothing but praise in my heart for uh, such an incredible effort. That, do you have any idea? Do you have any concept of the amount of work that it takes? to create this much pixel art. What a labor of love. Absolutely incredible. Let's. The goal is to check out the Cosmic Ocean. That is the goal for this. So I very much doubt that we'll get it done in one episode. Oh, it's such a happy medium. There's some really good music too. Happy medium of, you know, trying out, having the, the classic textures, but not the classic mechanics that I'm not a fan of. Just feels like playing Splunky 2 with a reskin mod. I mean, it definitely is going to throw me off. It's, uh, it's, it really feels weird and different, but it's not. It really is not. I wonder if this is compatible with John Lunky. I need to try it out, see if it works. I don't see why it wouldn't be. Let's just leave this hamster away uh, uh, without uh, being disturbed. But the thing is, because of the reskin, it really feels like the dwelling is not the dwelling. It feels so different that I, I don't even recognize the the different the different areas. You know, the, the, the things that we have traversed 20 billion times, it also looks so new and fresh. I thought for sure that will be a stump. If I squint it real hard, I basically would have the exact same abilities as my usual mediocre abilities, but because I'm not squinting, I am with my eyes wide open. That music though. <laughs> so really cool. Really cool chip tunified. Is that spring or spikes? It's spikes. Okay, so clearly this man needs to die. He needs to die in a horrendous manner. Why do I go? Eh, let's just leave him alone. We, we don't need to antagonize the shopkeepers forever. Just a little bit of anger being doled out, but no final murderability. Just just leave it open. Wonder how many assets they reuse from classic as opposed to actually creating the pixel art. I'm sure this cat will be perfectly safe. We toss it into a bottomless pit with no bottom in sight. Until he went out. 
That's seven ropes, right? That's not a one. Yeah. A little bit of an ambiguous digit over there. All right, so what I want is to go over to the other side without shopkeeper aggression. I want to see the rest of this damn level. Oh, so shopkeeper aggression could not be helped. I had no choice. He forced me. He forced my hand. What do you want me to do about it? Please stop. I had no choice but to shove my foot on top of his stupid ass freaking head. Now the choice really did... It did happen all in my head. Of murdering the crap out of Antonio Banderas. Are you serious? This is disgusting. <laughs> the whole machete out of those crates. Absolute shameful. You know what? We kind of need the help from this turkey. Well, we have resorted to all kinds of truly horrific violence. So might as well embrace it. Might as well embrace it. It's, uh... How the cookie crumbled today. Truly, I am... Um, nothing but uh, a puppet of destiny. What kind of... Uh, what kind of wall engraving is, is this? It's like, square? Square? Cavemen, they were not the smartest. They just could not. That's a pretty accurate depiction, though. Look at that, mole man. And then look at this mole man. Pretty much identical. Okay, mole man, you do your roll thing, and I will shoot you straight in the butthole. That's with great satisfaction. I like that little HP pop-up. Very nice. The seven bombs that we're carrying. Very nice. Such artistry. I really appreciate it. A Splunky classic assets. Sure, I am sure at the very least they use them as base. But there is so many sprites here that they were not part of the Splunky classic suite. Anyway, we want to go to the jungle. Feeling kind of bad that John Lunky, I never bothered to fulfill the initial challenges. Really liking that explosion sprite. That looked really good. This pixel graphics, man, they're just uh, some badass pixel graphics. It's not just a retrofication, it is a very artistic. Retrofication. This uh, this quality, quality pixel art. Big ups, big ups, I say. Okay, Gronk, we are the two desperados over here. Bonnie and Clyde, we cannot be stopped. Uh, let's uh, be honest. I am quite out of your league. I don't know how you lucked out with this bimbo, but I'm sure that you have a great tool of destruction. Between your legs, if you know what I mean. These these trees, I am uh, I'm not a big proponent of these trees. They look like uh, condos. They look like condo towers. I almost get killed by a boomerang boy. All right, we have gathered another another member of our harem. Very happy to have more members in my bed. And when I say member. I mean penises. You like the monkey too? I am. Oh, jeez! I just back shot in the back of one of the our members. Okay, fella. Oh yeah, yeah. Get, get that shotgun. We're going to gang up on this son of a bitch. Mexican warfare style. Oh, he's dead. He was. A, he was a total pushover. Pathetic. Right. Did I even find the? I did not find the Ujara. I am slightly deficient in my cognitive powers. Kind of an important part. Ah! Okay. Oh no. <laughs> kind of an important part. It's like to be you, weirdo. All right, good, good, good. Of going to the cosmic ocean. Let's find the black market. And to find the black market, you're kind of screwed if you don't have the Ujarai. 
I'm seeing a little bit of a problem with the UI. If you look at the timer, a bit of an overlap over there. Wonder if it's simply because of some setting that I have enabled or something, like size of font or something like that. Either way, very minor, very minor, not a big deal. Anyway, there's like literally no way, right? I'm going to find the black market entrance. Oh, that's right. These guys get super mad. <laughs> they get so mad. I'm just trying to be an honest belonger, trying to make my way through this ha haunted land. I can't get over how good these pixel graphics are. Oh! Well. Slightly difficult to see that one. I, I hope that you can forgive the fact that I literally did not see it. Completely blind to it. It was one of them jungle traps. Okay, this time around though, let's try actually finding the Ujarai. What is the deal with this place? Requires two bombs to get out of here or two ropes. Well, that's upsetting, but also an experience that we don't get to experience that often. How many times do you go into a cave like that and use two ropes to get through the, the spike pit? Never, ever, ever. You just restart at that point. Okay, another one here. Actually, there was a uh, eh, major stupid. Can't wait. Okay, here's the key. Check out this bomb cooking. Not great. I was forgiven by... Huh? Forgiven by the shape of the level. The bounce of the... Oh. The bounce of the bomb was very forgiving there. That's what I'm trying to say. Alright. We have a Shun Keeper who is not mad at me anymore. They have very forgetful ways. They have the same sound effect on that one. Because it's such a great sound effect. They were like, do we want to change the sound effect? Absolutely not. It is one of the best sound effects in the entirety of the game. All right. Holy crap. All right. Wonder how much work it took to chip tune these melodies too. Seems like something that could be done with AI, isn't it? Especially today in the era, the, the hot topic is all the AI art and AI music. I'll bet you that you can chip tune any kind of song. Just passing it through one of them programs. And it will be a decent effort that you can probably cannot even distinguish from the human effort. I would be very interested to know if the creators of this mod right here will let me know. How much work did it take? Suck plus. Antonio Banderas. Collect your carcass. Put you in the place. Uh, I doubt it. I doubt there was any kind of programification involved. I bet it was done by hand. Somebody on a freaking fast tracker engine. Okay, you are mad. And then you were dead. I don't know exactly the story that is behind this corpse that we have found, but your loss of life is my gain of resources. At the very least I get to... What? Let's never speak about the jumping in front of an arrow trap. That I just did, please. I just realized I have seven ropes. So let's go back for... Whatever did I do? I played around with this corpse. It looks like it's just hanging ready to be butt-reamed. Very disturbing imagery. He just, uh, wa he just wants it. He wants it so bad. Alright. Is there a damsel around? I think I just heard it. Maybe it's time to start taking the effort seriously. May have been uh, next to the exit. 
Maybe behind. Eh, yeah, just murder him. I'm not afraid. Just do death and destruction. And damn it, I spent two damn ropes. I'm going to use them to the maximum of their value. Welcome to the Circus of Value! Are you up here? Yeah. We're going to grab that dog. And we're going to sacrifice the crap out of it. I know that we are one second away. This was terrible. I should have used... I should have used bombs from the bottom. Instead of doing it like this. This ghost sound effect is cursed as all hell. Oh, that's awful. That's the worst I've ever heard. Please, <laughs> stop haunting me. This will chase me in my nightmares. Chase me in my nightmares forever. I will never get rid of that sound effect. Here we have, I mean, it's... It's a horrible sound, but it's a very haunting sound effect, so I can't really say that it's a bad sound effect. You know? It's very appropriate. Square? Maybe it's like, ARROW? That engraving in the back. Okay, more man. I do like the look of you. You look so angry and grumpy, but you, you look angry in a petulant way, like... Mm, I didn't get my nap today. I'm going to take it out on you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That, that's the way that Mole Man looks as pixel graphics. Mommy told me I will get ice cream today, but she only got me pistachio ice cream, so now I'm mad. That is Mole Man bitching about it. Alright, let's check out Volcana. Funky music. Very funky. Feels kind of tropical. Okay, now that when it dropped the half tone. Yeah, when it dropped the half tone, it, it became more cave like. I, it started as like this is kind of Caribbean vibe, but and then it went and then I, I, I really started digging it as the proper cave theme that is pro that's supposed to be. Not just cave theme, but volcano theme. You can imagine that music being in a, in the sonic volcano level. When there will be a, a different tune, uh, it all went quiet. It went quiet. No, <laughs> it's back. And that's the, the classic way, if you remember. There was one for each biome. And at the start, I know if I didn't really give you a chance to see it. Also like digging a lot the laser, the laser graphic, very cool. I didn't give you a chance to see it, but at the very start, it gives you the choice of creating, or rather putting in custom music. I'm gonna do that and then get the hell away. Okay, it just opened the way. Because I, I was like, this teleporter is going to explode once I put this here. How weird the, <laughs> the music comes in and out. It's weirding me out. All right, we got our bow. We got the Ujedi. We're looking good. I'm going to take this bow to Vlad's castle. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. That was very upsetting. Definitely uh, not the best tune. <laughs> not the best tune we've encountered so far. Uh, lacks a slight bit of variety. Appropriate enough, though. Right at home in a volcano area. Okay, not to be found here. Callie is no longer the incredible boon to our survival as she used to be. I have murdered several of these weirdos. Oh, I have the pictures, man. Never mind. So why even try to stop antagonizing them? Just own it. Eat it, bitch. I, I did not eat it at all. It don't matter. The purple tile, very stylish.
fuchsia. I think that's the the what we decided. Remember way way back. This is a, a deep dive in Blargo lore. Way way back, we were trying to determine, or at least I was, and then I was told in the comments. How do you pronounce the word f fuchsia? F u c h s i. Uh, you pronounce it. You, the, even the spelling is uh, challenging. And I'm pretty sure the answer was fuchsia. That's how you pronounce it. That particular color. That was not the way to go forward. All right, so this is a little cursed. Looks like the lava did not get a pixelated version. Kind of funky. It's weird how they decided to leave it around like that. I wonder if it's a limitation of the engine because of the pixel graphics. And the liquid mechanics, they don't really gel. Maybe there was something really challenging about making the liquid mechanics pixelated. Because it does, it seems like an odd oversight, right? Like everything else has been overhauled, but not the lava. No, I meant to rope. I saw them. Bad. I didn't mean to go up so far. I just was just hanging on to the chain and it went up simply by the action of hanging on to it. I meant to rope. That is so upsetting. That is so maddening. The fact that I saw it coming. I knew what to do about it. I had a plan. But I held the up arrow to hang on to the chain a little too long. Get me in. Absolutely. Freaking humiliating. That's the thing with uh, going to the Cosmic Ocean. It takes forever to get to a relevant place. Oh, violence must happen here. Jar full of jizz. You know what? I I am... No! Just supposed to have the shotgun. I grabbed his anus. The thing I am noticing is uh, uh, the... Um, The character models, they're just kind of smaller. I don't think the hitbox is smaller. I really resent that quite a bit. I don't think the hitbox is smaller, but on screen, they are smaller, so it throws me off where to stand to grab certain things. Pretty sure what I'm saying is coming across pretty easily. I don't need to over-explain it. Well, just... We can, we, we can handle this guy. Don't worry about it. All right. Now that I have stolen your... Oh, oh. <laughs> All right, let me just lure you to the spike pit. You filthy weirdo. You're actually jumping at me. Look, the, the termination could not be faulted. I, this guy deserved to catch me and follow my face in. There was no way around... Leaving this guy, he was a consummated bruiser, determined to get at his goal. This damn freaking Spelunker showed up. This is cursed. Uh, even pisses off the shopkeeper. <laughs> it's alright, he's selling 20 bombs. That should all be good. To the pack, huh? We can get a telefrag on this fellow. Ooh, ooh. That is not a telefrag. Not a telefrag either. <laughs> Perfectly safe. This telepack is always. Always here to save me. Perhaps the safest and most wonderful tool that you can possibly attach to yourself. Set it back, saving me at every turn. <laughs> there, finally. All I needed. Oh, there's a new Jedi here. Just now realized it. Luckily, we have the means of uh, getting to a key. This is a bad teleport. We'll have to do it like this. 
really digging this telepack. Why? What is it about this telepack that somehow feels so much safer? So much safer than its uh, normal Spelunky counterpart. Oh no. Something about it. I'm sure I'm about to die to my idi idiotic way of doing things, but until then, this telepack is fantastic. Literally saved my anus. Zero times over! I understand that quite a lot. Square? I'll never not point it out. It's just really... It's amusing to me, okay? What you got? Just a freaking crossbow? Shall we run up your butthole? On the sharp ending first, please. Only two bombs, unfortunately, but it's alright. This guy will have all kinds of bombs in inside his lair. You gotta be very deliberate with the way you jump. Told ya. <laughs> Everything works out. I am just too good at this game. Give me that sweet turkey. Alright, here's the next weirdo. Don't you wanna come at me? Come at me, bro. There you go. There you go. Have to exert a slight bit of concentration there. Eh, it's just mole man area. I don't need no torch! In fact, we can just ignore mole man altogether. And I would, if I had more health. I would just simply teleport. With the fast speed run away! Jungle or Volcana? Just by virtue of the pretty terrible song. <laughs> Going to go jungle. There you go. Let's put a bomb here. I know that I can teleport from the top. I'm just gonna do it like this. Like the sound effect for the Teleported quite a bit. Well, that was more violent than I had any intention to do. Holy crap! <laughs> the darkness. The darkness is slightly upsetting. All right, let's remember. Now the jungle theme is super good because I think it's the exact same or very similar to the jungle theme there was in classic, which was always really, really good. Wonder if it's if it's an original composition, the one for the volcano. Volcana. Volcani. Okay. That's the thing that just happened. We definitely want this spider dead. There you go. Jar full of jizz, baby. Right, three points of health. I respect everything. So, the most baffling part of this entire experience, and I know I'm jinxing myself here, is the fact that we're still alive with this telepack attached to our backs. It's uncanny. The fact that death has not found it, found us just yet. Should have died a long time ago. It's a matchup. Keep it over there. Do something like that. Kablamo! Should be dead. Now you're dead. Scum Lord. I am very much interested in getting a little bit of health. Not climbing gloves. I almost did it. I almost overlooked this pixelated son of a whore. <laughs> I wanted to munch on my face so hard. They really blend in much better. In retro fights, Spelunky. Holy crap. I know that they, you know, they. It's a high contrast color, the red, but the model is different and small enough for me to almost have jumped straight into it. Alrighty, that guy is just dead meat. Question, if I thorn myself, do I teleport? No, that's weird. I think it's only lethal damage. It'll teleport you away? I don't know. I thought for sure, I, I, I could have sworn. It's like any... I almost teleported. Any damage, it will teleport you away. 
maybe they changed it at some point. Or maybe I just don't know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, you know what? I am liable to teleport into the background because I oh, I jump too much. So let's do it like that. I noticed another effect that is not pixelated. I mean, this is like I'm not criticizing. I'm just pointing it out. The little stars. They're not pixel stars. They're regular stars. This is my immersion. Oh, this breaks my immersion. I really like the, the way that the jungle tiles, they kind of, the growth of grass is pretty neat. I like it. I'm into this mod quite a lot. Anyway, we kind of need to find this bow. There it is. Fortunately, we're going to have to use a bomb. Because I started digging too damn low. Maybe we can find some extra resources this way. Just cash. Alright. It really does feel like playing a com not a completely different game, but it is so refreshing. Just the visual overhaul. It makes it so different. I don't know if it comes across as just watching it, but playing it. It's a... Uh, it's a much different experience. It feels so new and fresh. Even though the tiles and the constructions and the rooms are exactly the same. Okay, that's a very easy damsel rescue here. Oh. Did not notice this green tile. I guess I could have teleported past it, but... It would have been easy to teleport myself into the wall. Do something like this. I'm being very conservative with this. This teleporter. Somehow stubbornly clinging to it. Gotta say, I didn't even check whether the black market was here, but of course it wasn't. I can teleport. I could definitely teleport here. That would have been easy. Grab this crate. Okay, nothing to be found this way. Also makes me a lot more cautious. Everything looking so different. Really, I thought I was spiking myself there. Would have been pretty bad. Ooh. Health situation continues to break even every level somehow. Oh, there's two arrows. Definitely is going to be a... Oh, jeez. There's going to be... Oh, the monkey. Stop, monkey. <laughs> oh, damn it. I don't have any kind of shoes. My arrow. It's almost invisible, this arrow. In the tall grass. Oh no, don't get me again. Hood Jedi has blinked. Might be in the corner over there. No, it's gonna be somewhere around here. Ah, I even see it. It's, it's much easier to see in, in the mod. You can definitely see it around the tiles. We had some chance to see it in the the run that we had though I didn't have the Ujarai. Alright, this is not John Lunky. We're not going to find freaking shopkeepers up here. Oh jeez. I forgot completely that I had <laughs> the telepack. Alright, how about you catch one of these? Hey fella. Oh. Ooh. This <laughs> is I don't have enough, uh, stopping power for my stumps to be good. So let's do this nice combination. Thought for a moment that Gronk was coming at me with the, sh the bomb attached to him. Would not have ended up well for me. Oh no! Okay, mistakes were made. There was some nice chunk of bombs over there. Holy crap, this guy almost caught me. Uh-oh. Grunk! Always in awe of your incredible ability to dodge shots. That being said... I am making no distinction here between friend and foe. Everybody opposes me. Excellent stuff down there. 
Is it time? Ah, the climbing gloves. It's time to let go of the stellar pack. I am just out of my mind that we managed to get the telepack this far without dying. Let's count our blessings. Count it as a cool telepack run. Holy crap. Son of a bitch. <laughs> you thought you could catch me. Turn your weapons against you. Cool telepack run. Great interactions. Good times. Time to let go. Now that we have the climbing gloves, I can uh, get around much easier. All right. This fella is uh, a bit of a problem. Oh. I keep forgetting that I have the freaking pitcher smith. But, you know, we have 48 bombs. Let's use them gratuitously. I don't trust myself in uh, getting this jump correct, so. Kill the filthy creature. Still no boots. Let's do some... Do some explosive clearing. There you go. No shopkeeper here. He must be... Uh, obliterated by something happening. Alright, we carry on. This retro land. And now the ever shopkeeper was eliminated in such a fulgurating manner. You're so mad. Why am I dropping here? Like, I got, a, like I got a freaking death wish. They so mad. You can actually reach me here. No, I think the thorns will just toss him down every time. That being said, do I want to test it? Apparently, because that guy almost got here. This is highly amusing. I'm going to watch it until it. It pans out, it reaches its natural conclusion. That was amazing display of stupidity. I am so happy I was a witness to that. All right, another level complete. Olmec! Good old fashioned Olmec. Truly old fashioned. This is the final boss of Spelunky Classic. What a guy. Very intimidating. Even the sound effect is freaking intimidating. I don't know why you didn't move. That, that was kind of funky. You usually move more than that, right? Maybe because I didn't, I didn't uh, skip the animation or something. I don't know. I feel like he never really uh, does that. All right, Gloop, how you look? You're just a pixelated version of yourself. I accept it. You look pretty nice. All righty, let's see if we can get this done. The pixelated version. Should be easy enough, right? We know how to do it. It is all routine. I actually don't have climbing gloves. I mean, I have climbing gloves, but I don't have spring shoes here. Killing Olmec is a massive pain in the ass here. But here's how you do it, though. I hope I can get it done right. Nope, that is not how you do it. Now that's gonna destroy my block. That ruined everything, actually. <laughs> uh, we can still get it done. Nope, he also blew up the other push block. God damn it. Uh, I guess we can do it with bombs. Or we can do it the old fashioned way. Let him bomb the uh, bottom. I'm not just giving up. You know, I ain't no coward. I am no sad, pathetic, piece of trash coward. <laughs> don't blow up, don't blow up, don't do it. Yep. Ah, that's good. This should do it. I know exactly how this ended up happening. But we happened to get the exact configuration that we needed. To not have to... Uh, be annoyed out of our gourds having to do a jump every single time I love the alien sprite very cool looking <laughs> the, the eyeball just tumbling around like the alien has no idea where he's going that's a lovely 
Lovely little sprite. That was, that's fantastic. Let's give this some time here. I don't think it's going to be able to get out of there, but I don't want to have to deal with the aliens. Let me get on top of Olmec here. I want to get rid of the alien! Oh, oh, oh. Really want to get rid of this alien. I'm making some serious mistakes, but <laughs> one point of health. The Ankh, at the very least, would let me survive. Oh. Oh. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, you know, it's hard to tell the edge in the retrofied version. Like, where the hell do you end and the abyss starts? That's what I said when I was looking into my wife's eyes. She did not appreciate it. Why did I have to remind her of her succubus past? Yeah, she did climb out of the abyss. Like the fiend that she is. But do I have to rub it in her face like that? You know what? This parachute may be the difference between life and death. Alright, so I have uh, one point of health. Actually, there is a cat. I was about to give myself excuses not to go temple. Do you think I'm some kind of filthy coward? This is a nightmare, actually. Dropping down there. We kind of had to bomb our way to safety here. Another bomb here. And then a rope. There you go. We're still descending, though. Only eight ropes, unfortunately. Alright, it's all good. To the temple we go. Wonder what it looks like in classic. Probably exactly like the classic version of the temple. Looking forward to it. Maybe that's a reason to go tide pool to see a completely different tile set, huh? Alright. Wish I had a freaking shotgun. Since all the. Freaking shopkeepers are mad at me! Yeah, with care, a metho methodical approach, we will get for this terrible nightmare. Drunk, you're not welcome. You're not welcome. I have enough stress going on in my life! Well, there goes my elf. Oh. Yeah, there's no way I can survive this, right? <laughs> Please. <laughs> it was uh, an uphill battle for sure. Playing pretty bad about losing that way. The Anka graphic is a little weird. I'm feeling pretty terrible about losing this way. Seems like Gronk was busy down there doing his business. How about you not do anything funky? Let me just see if I can put you to sleep. Oh, there's... Oh, no! Crap! I was too excited about getting to Anubis. Well, that was awful, and I feel awful, but we did get to the temple, which is amazing. Oh, how incredible to get this far. It really throws you off, the entire, just an overhaul, graphic overhaul, even though everything's the same. It really ain't. It just ain't. I'll uh, try again next time. It's actually a great experience. I like it a lot.